Hi everybody, it's Dara, and today I'm going to share with you a really easy, really delicious snack recipe called popcorn cauliflower. And before I go ahead and show that to you, I'm going to show to you that I am a woman who walks her talk. Do you know what this is? This is wheatgrass. And I, this looks like a lot of wheatgrass, actually. <laughs> so I'm about to drink the wheatgrass, and then I'm going to make the recipe so you can see that this is a really good thing to do to whiten your eyes, brighten your teeth, get your skin glowing, lose weight, clean your colon, which is the key to health and to beauty. So cheers, everybody. Get your wheatgrass on. Mm. Actually delicious. My teeth might be green. Mm, okay. So now here's the thing. I'm going to show you the ingredients to the delicious snack that is so good for watching movies at night. If you miss popcorn, this is the perfect thing. So we're going to use some nutritional yeast, which has a lot of vitamin B12 and tastes like cheese. We're going to use turmeric to turn it real yellow. We're going to use a little bit of garlic powder, olive oil, a little bit of water and some pink Himalayan salt and obviously the cauliflower. Now we're going to get it into little pieces like this and I'm going to show you how so that you don't waste a lot of the cauliflower. There's a really good way to cut it. So I didn't show you how to core the cauliflower but you cut it in half and you cut a, a V into the cauliflower to take out the core. And so sometimes people chop broccoli and cauliflower like this and they end up with all the little um, bits on the board. So instead you turn it like this and instead of cutting all the way down, just kind of peel it apart like that. Cut down again, peel apart. And so you don't have all those little crumblies that are wasted. You can cut that and use that little piece, do it again. And do it again so you get really small pieces. It takes a little bit of extra time, but it makes it so, oops, <laughs> it makes it so um, appealing and worth it. So basically, we're gonna end up with a bowl of this. And then what I'm gonna do is take a bowl, just an empty bowl, and I'm going to put in some water. Now, you're gonna make, depending on how much cauliflower you make, that's how much marinade that you make. So I don't have the exact measurement, so I can give you an idea right now. So right here, I have half a cup of water. Now I'm gonna use oil, but you don't have to. You can just use the nutritional yeast, water, garlic, turmeric, and salt if you want an absolutely no fat uh, recipe. But I think that I wanna put in a little bit of the oil because I have some people coming over later and they might appreciate um, the flavor a little bit more. But that's up to you. You want to go no fat, don't use it. So that was about three tablespoons. And I'm going to mix it up. I'm going to put in some of the garlic, maybe a quarter teaspoon. And I will put in turmeric maybe a quarter teaspoon and some salt, a half a teaspoon. We can always add more after we try it. That's the beauty of raw food is that you just kind of do it as you go along and it's really not so serious. I think people take things a little bit too serious in the kitchen and you really just have to maintain the element of fun. So. We're going to pour that in and mix it around. And you can always give it a little bit of a taste on the back of your hand, a, a little sample. You can do this in the Vitamix, I was just being... Mm. Okay, that's nice. I'm going to add a little bit of salt. So we had put in half a teaspoon. I'm going to do another half a teaspoon that makes a whole teaspoon. Here we are creating a recipe together. Isn't that nice? So you can see how I roll in the kitchen. I really just go by intuition. And I encourage you to do the same because it really can't be bad. If for some reason, like last night I made kelp noodles and they were a little salty. So what I did was I decided to add cucumber for freshness and a watery content, add tomatoes, and you can always adjust. So don't worry about it so much. So I'm going to try it again. Let's see. And it's perfect. 
So um, I added the turmeric. So then basically all I do is I pour it in here and mix it around. And you can let it marinate. If you want to go a little bit, um, even a little bit further, you put this in a Pyrex dish and you put it in the dehydrator and you let it warm up. And we can even add some more nutritional yeast in there for fun. If you find that, I didn't use the whole head of cauliflower, so that's how I have some pieces left. So this will have a little bit less moisture. So I'm gonna add a couple more tablespoons of nutritional yeast to make it extra cheesy. There we go. You can find this in the bulk section of Whole Foods. I hear that there's a brand that's available in the UK. So just be on the lookout for nutritional yeast because it's a wonderful product that's going to give you a cheesy, cheesy flavor. And I'm going to put this, I guess I'll try it right in front of you. So if you want to warm it up in the oven on really on low and kind of get it a little bit warm and marinated, that's fun too. Mmm. It's delicious. Okay, everybody. So, one sec. <laughs> get your greens on, drink your wheatgrass, drink your green juice, have some popcorn cauliflower, and enjoy being raw, and I will see you really soon.